sweeties how are you doing welcome to naya same if this is your first time of coming across this channel sweetheart kindly smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification so you are notified each time i upload and please give this video a thumb up i appreciate you all so much and i am saying massive shout out to every one of you for all the love and support you all give me here i am truly grateful thank you all so much so today we'll be talking something very important it's about this white woman actually a white person asked a question she said I was raised, I, I am not racist and never have been, no, no matter the way I was raised. Though she was asking questions. She wanted to know more about black people and uh, what is going on in black community. And the woman actually started, I love to see them like, you know, talking to themselves because black community have been hammering this all years. And uh, it looks like, uh, yeah, of course, when it's coming from a black person, they really do not want to listen but if it's coming from someone that looks like them i think they cannot listen right she was telling them that they were told that black people are savage savages right but then when you look around you know in the whole thing who are the real savages i am sure you understand where i am going to these are the real savages because all through the period i have been following black american history and the rest of it i never saw where a black man lynched a white man i have not seen where black people bombed a white town i have not seen black people feeding white babies to ghetto like you know and all that and i haven't seen where black black people do not have sundown town probably whereby a white person is if you like you know and something will happen to you then we'll talk about savages who are the real savages Stay go to the screen i'm just rolling this clip we'll come back to talk about it and let me know what you all think in the comment section and straight up i am rolling the all right so what i'm about to say i'm not saying with hate or judgment and i don't want anyone to please don't come for this uh, creator i just want you to consider something because you said i'm not racist and never have been no matter the way i was raised and you had said you were raised the same way i was i want you to consider that racism is so much deeper than what we're taught at home in america it is indoctrinated into us through our education system through the media through entertainment through sports through pretty much any avenue you can think of especially the education system because we are taught to believe that robert e lee and the confederate army were heroes even though they were traitors <laughs> and they were losers and they were horrible we're taught about states rights and that's not the case at all we're lied to we are lied to in our education system and the reason we're lied to is because they want to indoctrinate us to believe what they want us to believe that is white supremacy that is why we're not taught about a lot of black leaders everyone knows martin luther king everyone knows malcolm x everyone do you know who william epton is most people just recently learned about fred hampton there are so many black leaders nat turner billy holiday she was a powerful voice nina simone we're not taught about black excellence we're not taught about black leaders we're not taught about black contributions everything is white 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 up until recently movies didn't have a main character who was black he was like always a villain or secondary or you know just kind of didn't really matter black representation in film is a very new thing like within the last couple of years black people especially like during jim crow black people were represented in the most disrespectful vile way possible and they still are today they are presented as you know violent no morals you know just animals and all that dumb shit. they are perpetrated as being the opposite of who they really are and because we are not properly educated we don't know the truth we don't we didn't learn about tulsa in school i didn't I didn't learn about Rosewood or Axe Handle Sat, all the massacres that took place, the move bombing in West Philly. I didn't learn about that. 
we didn't learn the truth about the actual genocide. Like, they really watered that shit the fuck down. Like, we were taught about fucking Thanksgiving as if it was some sort of peace, some sort of friendly meal between, you know, friends. It was the lullaby before the massacre. That's not how they teach it. They water down everything. They present indigenous people as savages, as, you know, uncivilized. And we are the ones who were savages. We are the ones who were uncivilized. We are the ones who scalped the indigenous. It wasn't the other way around like we were taught. So my point is, even though you say I never was, I caution you before you say that. Because in order for you to be anti-racist, you have to first start working on your internalized racism your internalized biases you have to figure that out for yourself but i promise you i promise you if you are white in america and you are not working on yourself and you have not educated yourself and you are not actively anti-racist honey i'm sorry but you are racist you may not want to be the indoctrination though it is there And if you want to talk about that, we can talk about that anytime that you want. But please understand racism is much deeper than just what we're taught at home. We are surrounded by a white supremacist structure that indoctrinates us every single day. Please don't forget that. Well, since you said educate you, uh, let me try. So there is an excellent book by Michelle Alexander called The New Jim Crow. This book absolutely opened my eyes to see exactly what the young lady in the comment section is trying to get you to see. This is the book. It is excellent. The reason why looking at someone and seeing and acknowledging their color is important is because if you do not, you are denying their pain you're denying their struggle you're denying what they're going through like if you look at the black community and you're like oh i don't see skin color you're denying their history you're denying their culture you're denying who they are it's not about like don't see the skin color because it is very important not to be colorblind colorblind is detrimental colorblind negates the struggles colorblind negates what's going on today and it also negates the accountability on the side of the perpetrator, which is us. So white people all of a sudden now want to be colorblind and like, oh, I don't see color. But in doing that, you're denying what we have put the black community through for centuries. And that is detrimental. And that is extremely racist. And I understand that you're, that I, I get what you're saying, but understand that, that is, that's not a healthy outlook and it's actually causing more harm than good. Since you seem like someone who is open to education, not just by this comment, but also the way you handled your discourse, I respect that. I strongly suggest you get this book. It, it will really open your eyes. And even if you feel like you're going to disagree with it, get it anyway. And if you end up disagreeing, then fine. But at least you looked at least you read it at least at least you read it so i love the fact that they are going they are uh educating themselves you know they were told that black people are service sorry savages right and forgetting that they are the real savages now let's start from uh, uh, we all know already Tulsa, we all know Rosewood, we all know Red Summer, we all know uh, uh, Lake uh, Rene or something like that. I can't remember the pronunciation or something, but I am sure you understand what I am saying. I mean, there are so many, so many black communities that were, that they dropped bomb on to this very moment. They never talked about it or they don't want to talk about it. Okay, I know the education system is a mess. Everything is whitewashed, like wash and wash and wash it, right? They were not taught in school. Because I saw a post where a white man was, a white boy, said that 
how come they never taught us all this in school? He said, I started learning all this from black creators to see all the horrible things they have done to black community. I am not the one saying this. It was a white boy saying that he learned all this from black creators, all the evil things, I mean, they did to black community and still to this very moment, still doing to them, the Jim Crow and the rest of it. And then they are going to say the Jim Crow era, it's all over. Is it really over? It is not over. The red lining, is it really over? It is not over. There was a video I actually made about a black man who said, who went to prison. And guess what he said? He said he picked cotton. I mean, this thing is not long ago. That he picked cotton in the prison. And he was like, he never knew that slavery is still going on. Because when I talk about it, people are going to say slavery was long. It is still going on to this very moment. In prison. Yeah, it is going on. Picking curtains. And then I was able to also learn about move. The day I heard that I saw that move, I was like, say no more. And to tell you that move happened like 30 something years ago. And somebody will tell you to stop talking about it. And it is going to go away. This is me reminding some of you because I know there are so many white people watching me. I know I get some emails from them and all that. I want you to know that it has not been long. It is, sorry, it is not long ago. All these are still few years and the people that did or masterminded that are still very much alive right and the fact that all of this they are trying uh, you know they said we are savage black people are savages and white black people were not the ones that fed people's kids to ghetto you know the ghetto bait black people were not the ones that went to see people being laid and chained and get to take souvenirs home, which are human parts. Black people do not have sundown town. I, my friend has been telling me that there is no more sundown town. And each day I come on the internet, I see so many sundown town people saying, they were able to escape and the ones that did not escape are no more. And then somebody will tell me black people are savages. See, I love the fact that you people are the one trying to educate yourselves. Go on. Also read books. Medical app, read all of them. You all will understand. So if tomorrow, or after reading that, you find out why black people probably do not even like, for what I see so far, black people do not even care. The only thing they want is, please dismantle the system you all mounted so that everybody, because as it stands for a black man, for a black person to be equal to a white person, he or she got to double, like, you know, get work so hard, so hard in order to meet up. So the standard is not standing. You already have to dismantle that system. And that is all they are asking for. You know what? This is where I am going to draw the curtain. Thank you all so much for all the love and support. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.